question form. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA. America always prides itself on being a free country with freedom of choice, but there is no choice if both of the two mainstream choices are more corporatist than they are Republicans or Democrats if what they want is essentially the same with a different dressing on it. There is only one clear choice for America, and that is to choose a candidate that's on the side of the people and that want to bring forth change for the people. Americans think that they're only voting for their country, but in this election, Americans will be voting for what happens in the rest of the world also. Some people feel that if they did not vote for a mainstream candidate, their vote would be wasted. The reality is that if you vote for something that doesn't reflect your beliefs and something that you don't visualize as a future for America, your vote is wasted anyway. And the message is, look, let's stop the spending. Let's end the wars. Let's abide by the Constitution of the United States. There is a growing police state in this country. Let's stop this growing police state in this country. But I'm going to be the only candidate that wants to stop foreign aid where we have poor people in this country giving foreign aid to rich people in other countries. to bomb Iran. I'm going to be the only candidate who wants to get out of Afghanistan now. Bring the troops home. Stop our military interventions. I am outraged, outraged by politicians that beat their chests against the terrorist threat and that comes at a cost of tens of thousands of innocent people being killed in foreign countries and it results in our men and service women coming back in body bags or with their limbs blown off. This has to stop and it has to stop now. I am going to be the only candidate that wants to repeal the Patriot Act and I would have never I would never have signed the National Defense Authorization Act allowing for you and I as U.S. citizens to be arrested, detained, without being charged. This is why we fought wars. I'm going to be the only candidate that wants to end the drug wars. Legalize marijuana now. I am the only candidate that's going to be talking about Balancing the federal budget now. Now. If we don't balance the federal budget now, we're going to find ourselves in a monetary collapse. And a monetary collapse, very simply, is when the dollars that we have in our pocket don't buy a thing because of the accompanying inflation that is going to go less money on the military. I'm going to be proposing 43% reductions in those categories because if we don't do it, we're going to find ourselves without a country. Crony capitalism is alive and well in this country. Both parties have their hands out to sell people. And guess what? Individuals, groups, corporations are buying those loopholes. I'm going to be the only candidate that wants to abolish the IRS. Eliminate, eliminate the income tax, eliminate corporate tax, replace it with one federal consumption tax. I am embracing the fair tax. I really think it's the template to zero taxes. I am the only candidate that would sign legislation to abolish the Federal Reserve. It's a rigged game! It's a rigged game! The Federal Reserve gives money to the banks for 0%. The Fed loans money, gives 
money to the banks, the banks buy treasuries, profiting off you and I with no risk whatsoever. This is not what this country is about. I'm the only candidate that would, that would repeal legal tender laws and sign legislation allowing for competing currencies. Be libertarian with me for one election. One election. Together, we'll show the world and the nation that what Ron Paul has stood for is not a fluke, it's the future. Question 4. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA.